our power limit one and our power limit two if we're back from the, from the turbo section. So this is our average power limit. This is our instantaneous power limit. At the bottom here, we have our instantaneous actual power consumption and our average power consumption, or our EWMA power consumption. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a very heavy workload, a TDP type of workload. So let me refresh the graphs here. So I'm going to start a very heavy workload. If you go back to the graph here, you can see that when I start that really heavy workload, right now we're in a 17 watt mode of operation. Instant power went up as high as possible, as close to that PL2 as possible. And you can see from, from this graph here that our exponential weighted moving average is creep up higher and higher. If you look from the frequency perspective, the IA frequency is, is ramped up and the graphics frequency is ramped up. And they're running at their max frequencies possible to maintain that power limit too. Once this average power here reaches that PL1, the processor will self-regulate itself. It'll reduce the frequencies down here to a level where that PL1 can be maintained. So we're about here now. You can see right about now we'll reach that PL1 limit and the frequencies will be changed and the power now has, has clamped down to that PL1 limit. So we've reduced the frequency on the IA side and the graphics side just enough to maintain that power limit one. So now we're at a 17 watt load, we're, thermal, we're thermally saturated, there's no thermal solution, the bathtub is basically full, we reach our PL1 limit. So let's change to a config TDP down case. So let me start the graph over again here. So right now we're, we're limited, we're, the bathtub's full, we're, we're stuck at 17 watts. And I've changed, I've linked the, the config TDP down here with a power saver mode. So when I change this power saver mode here, you'll see from the graph here that our PL1 has reduced down to 13 watts. And you can see also that our average, our instantaneous power now went down, it saw that we were running above that, so it went down to a lower state, and it starts creeping back up to make sure that it doesn't go above that limit. So you can see that the, the frequencies also took, took some action based on that. In this case, they're actually uh, giving more preferential treatment to the IA frequency over the graphics frequency, and they're allowing us to maintain that 13 watt mode of operation. So that was really, it's a really easy example of just showing how that config TDP can be linked with OS power policy, but the more interesting ways of doing it would be sending a notification through the, through the, the BIOS to the driver and changing the TDP based on a hotkey or a switch or some other kind of uh, hardware.